uh, useful but not not as exciting. Um, so in the in the weeks before Christmas, everyone's buying lots of gifts and wrapping it all up in brightly coloured paper and um, thinking about what their friends and family are gonna gonna want for Christmas presents. And then we all get together and un unwrap them all together, and it's all it's all very jolly. So the day after Christmas Day is called Boxing Day, um, and on that day there are, it means a lot to my family because we all love football. And on that day there are a number of different games uh, from every single league, um, but we like to go and watch our team, which is Everton, and they're a team based in Liverpool, and they are the best team in Liverpool. Uh, other other people would disagree. Year's Eve. Um, well, generally, because I'm from Sydney in Australia, and Sydney has an amazing harbour. And um, for New Year's Eve, Sydney, well, Sydney City, whoever will put on a really <laughs> amazing, a really amazing fireworks show. So I'll go to a friend's place, and well, a friend who has a really great view of the harbour and the area where the fireworks are, and just you know, take a lot of drinks, and. Yeah, sit with friends and drink and watch the fireworks, basically. Well, because the fireworks, there are two lots of fireworks, 9 o'clock and then really big ones at 12 o'clock at midnight. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. On New Year's, I like to celebrate by getting together with my closest friends uh, and going for some drinks. Um, and then waiting for the clock to strike midnight. And we check, uh, you know, before that, everyone has a big countdown. Uh, and then, yeah, everyone cheers and sings when it when it strikes midnight, and there's a song called Old Lang Syne, uh, which is a traditional New Year's song in the UK and in a number of Western countries. Uh, and then after that, we carry on drinking. For New Year's, it's, it tends to be a bit more meeting up with your friends and uh, or going out to a, a pub somewhere, maybe the pub in the village, and everyone will come in and have lots of food and drink, and it will be, will be good. And then at, at midnight, it's all very exciting, and you're counting down to the, to the New Year. To the people of Mongolia, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone in Mongolia. <laughs>well, hearing about all these Christmas dinners has made me pretty hungry. And I'm really excited now about Christmas to see what presents I might get. Well, that's all the time we have for our special Christmas episode. We both wish you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. So, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and thanks to the Han Bank Foundation for supporting the show. We'll see you in the new year. Bye. Bye.